Hey guys, this is Salim and in this video, let's see how Just Cause 3 works on this Acer Aspire laptop. So let's get started. Before going to the system requirements of this game, I want to tell you where I downloaded this from. I downloaded the cracked version from overgames.com. The link of that will be in the description below. So yeah, and let's get to the system requirements. So yeah, this requires an i5 processor. Technically speaking, it's the i5-2500K. That's a desktop processor. We have i5 on this one. The fourth generation i5 on this one. So we are covered there. The RAM required is 8 gigs. And the default one that comes on this laptop is 4 gigs. And if you game on it, I think that for memory reasons, you must have upgraded it up to 8 GB, I think. I have 12 gigs on this laptop, so because I use a lot of different video editing softwares, that's why I upgraded the RAM to 12 gigs. So yeah, the graphic card required is an NVIDIA one with 2 gigs of VRAM, so we have 2 gigs of VRAM, but the graphic card requ uh, minimum required graphic card is an NVIDIA GDX 670, and we have 940M, GeForce 940M on this laptop. So G40, nah, 940M comes close to the GDX 670. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of gap in between. GDX670 is marginally better than the 940M. So yeah, I've been talking a lot. Let's get in the game.
this is how just cause 3 works on this Asus Pi laptop. So if you ask me, it runs pretty well and you play just cause 3 a lot, this laptop won't disappoint you. So yeah, that was just cause 3 on this laptop. I said it earlier. Okay, so you know guys what to do. Like it if you like the video, dislike it if you hated the video. Comment for any queries. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter and post your queries there. Subscribe to my channel and if you have done that, do hit the bell icon near the subscribe button so that you get updated instantly with all the videos that I upload to YouTube in the near future. Till then, this is Salim signing off.